Jordan and I first met, she was on summer break between her junior and senior years of college and um, I just moved to Georgia for a job and we met out and about in Chattanooga. We went on our first date to a Mexican place across the river here in Chattanooga and we, uh, we sat down, we started having, you know, casual small talk and I, uh, the, or the waiter came and he said, uh, would you guys like to order? And I asked her, I said, are you going to be eating? And she said, oh yeah, I'm definitely eating. And uh, I started laughing and, and I knew then that she was, she was a genuine person. She wasn't going to BS me. So uh, we, we went in on some Mexican food and we had a really good day. We talked so much during the first date that the check actually came and the restaurant was closing. So I offered to give Dustin a tour of downtown Chattanooga. Uh, the funny thing about this is that even though I'm from this area, I was really unfamiliar with downtown. So we ended up walking like 10 miles that night, like all the way through the bridge, all the way through the aquarium. So we're like drenched in sweat. So we go back to the uh, Mexican restaurant to get his car and he tells me he doesn't want the date to end and neither did I. So we ended up going to play pool at a pool hall. Um, and you know, Dustin was being all flirtatious and like trying to show me how to play pool. I let him of course, but the funny thing is that we actually grew up with a pool table in our basement. So I did know how to play, <laughs> but I don't think I've ever told him that. My favorite thing about Jordan is that she is a genuinely caring person, whether it's me, her family, her friends, our cat and all. She, she loves hard and, and that's who she is as a friend. and. Uh, she, she always takes care of me and it's, it's just really great to have her, have her in my life. So my first impression of Dustin is that he was so kind and funny. He made me laugh um, the entire time that we met and he was just so nice to me. Like even little things, holding the door, uh, making sure I wasn't walking on like the side where the cars were coming, things like that. So. When did you know that Dustin was the one? When did you know it was him? And for me, there wasn't one moment where I was like, it's him. It was more of a collection of small, beautiful moments that made me real was, realize it was him. Um, like the way he makes me laugh, the way that he fits so perfectly into my family, even the first time he met them, um, the way that he plays with my nieces and nephews, um, and that he makes me feel so special, so. <laughs> when did I first know Jordan was the one? Um, she's going to kill me for telling this story. Um, Christmas 2019, she had a work Christmas party, and she she had a powwow with me before the Christmas party. She said, can't get drunk at the Christmas party. I said, okay, that sounds good. So uh, we go to the Christmas party, and we're having a good time, and she's running around, and before you know it, Jordan got drunk at the Christmas party. And uh, so she's running around like the Energizer Bunny, and I'm trying to keep up with her as best I can. And uh, so the night ends and, and I heard her into the car and uh, she got real tore up. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I got drunk at the Christmas party. And uh, I said, you know what, that's okay. And I just kind of had a moment of clarity and uh, I thought, yeah, she's definitely the one and, she, and, and all of her craziness and, and who she is, uh, is, she's definitely the one. My favorite thing about Dustin is that, is honestly just his heart. I mean, he would do literally anything for the people that he loves, his friends, his family, me. Um, so I'd say that's definitely my favorite thing about him. My most memorable experience with Dustin was on his 24th birthday. Um, we left the country together and went to Mexico. So Dustin had never been out of the country before. So it's really cool to share that experience together. Um, when we were there, we got to go four-wheeling. We got oceanside massages. We um, went like in underwater caverns and went swimming. We went zip lining. So we really went all out. So it was his first time leaving the country and that was really cool. Most memorable experience that I've had with Jordan um, would probably be the day we got engaged. I spent several several months designing this ring. I had to work late at, at work, and um, we we her, her sister and I had prepared this whole soiree out on the beach, and we had a photographer there. Um, and our, our cover up was that we were getting family pictures. And so we walked out on the beach and there were two girls with cameras who are hired photographers. And, and her sister Kay said, hey Jordan, go ask those girls to take our picture. And uh, so she goes over there and talks to him. And I, I went over there behind her and had the ring in my hand. And uh, when she turned around, that look on her face, it was, uh, it was, well, I'll never forget. It was, uh, it was awesome. It, it was a good memory. I'll never forget that. I think if I could wrap up all of my feelings towards Dustin in one sentence, it'd be that he really is my best friend. He's the first person I want to talk to when I wake up and the last person I want to talk to before bed.
If I could wrap up all my feelings for Jordan in one sentence, it would be, thank you for being my best friend, and I love you more. I love you, and I can't wait to get married. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's cheesy. I can't help it. <laughs>